All right, hey guys, we're starting over. This is me again with the Hillbilly Hopper Homestead, and I figured I'd give you guys a quick update. It's been a couple weeks since the last time we talked to you. Before we uh, we had cherries coming in. There's the cherry tree. As you can see, no more no more cherries really. They're pretty much all gone now, and uh, the marigolds are finally starting to bloom. Uh, purple sage is doing good, and the parsley, and then of course you see the uh, uh, black beauty eggplant down here on the end. The carrots and the onions that are interplanted are doing very nicely together. The corn, as you can see, corn's doing good. Got another marigold down on the end. Then uh, my pepper plants, for some strange reason, my pepper plants all died, so I went and bought a potted one. And now. As you can see, we've got some real nice peppers coming on. Those are actually going to get picked today. They're ready to be picked. We've got some romas on a vine over here that are putting on. And then my uh, box basil is doing very nicely. Peppers are finally starting to come back. And we've got some cilantro that's been interplanted with it. Um, then, you guys have got to see this. This is crazy. Have you ever seen a mint leaf that big? Look how huge that is. It's enormous. Oh, and it smells so nice. These leaves, this is the only mint plant for some reason that did this. Uh, it's planted in our cherry tree bed, and the leaves came out absolutely enormous. So, mm, they're going to make a really good tea, I think. We're going to pluck some this week and dry it out and try to make a Moroccan tea with it and see how it goes. Then uh, we're out here for the garden. As you can see, we're coming along nicely. Corn's growing nice. Beans are coming in. We're starting to vine and climb up. Climbing up, 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 up. Same thing over here. We're finally starting to come in and climb up. The uh, cantaloupes are starting to go good. Uh, this is another bed that's planted with beans and a blue festivity corn. It's an heirloom sweet corn that's blue and yellow and white and pink and the different kernels are supposed to taste different and you pick which one you like the most and plant that. Uh, this is more squash. I'm going to stir some here. Uh, this is a, a orange a heirloom watermelon here. Then all of this is different mints. We got, we got a random squash that we just basically needed a hole to put it in. I didn't have a bed built for it yet. Then uh, bee balm, orange mint, chocolate mint, spearmint, and this in this little hole here will be purple horse mint. We've got more of those uh, lima beans growing over here. As you can see, our uh, German pink, and the, not German pink, German stripe has shaken off the aphids. is growing very nicely. has a tomato putting on down at the bottom. We've got little flowers going. Um, then the rabbit area for the greens. Bugs are okay because the rabbits will eat those along with the the greens and add a little extra protein to their diet. And then, and it come back here. This is what I wanted to show you. Our new babies. Take a look. These are San Juans. That's the dough. That is Misty, our American chin dough. And the buck, he's a San Juan buck. We're letting them get acclimated to each other. They just got home, so they're a little freaked out right now. And then this is our big, beautiful doe. She's given like nine or ten kits in, in, in her litters, and uh, we picked up all three of them for $40. Uh, very happy about that. Uh, he has already uh, mounted both of the does since we've been home because we had to bring them back in, a, in two enclosures for three rabbits. So uh, we, uh, we already possibly have uh, a set of San Juan kits on the way. And we're going to see, because of the coloration, is, is fairly, the, fairly similar. They have the ribbing on the, and the rings. It's just a red, a red and black instead of a gray and black. So we're seeing if maybe introducing San Juan into the line uh, and then taking out the best specimens and breeding them back to an American chin, an unrelated American chin, will give us something where we, we're not having the, the, white, uh, the white kitten every three or four uh, 
litters that you get when you introduce a California or a, a white New Zealand to the line. So that's the hope is that we can get something where uh, we'll have a rabbit that looks kind of like Misty looked when she was born where she had a little brown modding on her fur but when she got older and got closer to six or eight months old her fur became that nice uniform gray color. So we're hoping that, that, that we're able to uh, make a better genetic defect, unfortunately, because of the genetic bottlenecking in, the, in this particular breed. So there's our new babies, and there's your update for the uh, Hillbilly Hopper Homestead. Thank you again for tuning in, and as always, if you want to know what you eat, then you got to grow your own, and have a good day. So I like them.